Hey everyone, welcome back to another Godzilla Battling video, and today we have part two of the Gamera All-Star Battle is starting, and there are a few things that I would like to talk about. First things first, I gotta claim my little rewards over here, but I gotta also let you know, right here, gotta remind you, of course, that this All-Star Battle is ending on 928, which is important because you're gonna wanna get all the event points you can. Because before we even talk about the offers, I want to talk about the new rewards added to the store. That's mainly what we're going to be talking about today. So as a reminder, waves 52 through 90 have been added and you have until September 28th of 2023 to complete them. In the exchange, look what we have here, ladies and gentlemen. We have a piece of Gamera has joined the exchange for 1,500 event points, okay? This store will run until the end of the season and will only go away when the new season begins. So if you don't buy this Gamera by the time All-Star Battle ends, you will have a few extra days to grab him. You'll have like a week to grab him. However, I recommend you pick him up as soon as possible. You know, a lot of people have been stockpiling points. People have gotten some points from the beginning of All-Star Battle that they haven't used yet. This is the perfect way to use them. We got free Gauss. Now, guess what? You get a free Gamera. We love to see it. I love when they make something free. And guess what? Gamera is free. Featured unit free. I'm also picking up this emblem because... Like I always say, I don't really do the cosmetics for this event unless they are a limited time cosmetic. That's a pretty limited time cosmetic with Gamera. Also, huh. I don't know when the, ne when the next time we're going to get any Godzilla Earth stuff in this store is. Because he's not a leader. So I'm going to grab that just in case that never comes back either. This expedition map, you can buy it five times. And it's the map that you have an increased chance at getting. An increased chance at getting Gamera and Gauss. That actually is this map right here. So if you want to check what the odds are you can click on the offer ratio here and it will tell you so they actually bumped it up from a 1.3 to a 1.6 percent chance or not a, not a 1.3 or it would be a 0.3 but it's now 0.6667 so if you want to take your luck you can buy that map five times and you have an ink an increased chance of getting Gauss, Gamma, and Desigadora. And that's the map that I prefer to buy from the store. This one you could buy one time for the same amount of points. This one you could buy five times for the same amount of points. I always just tend to pick up these, these maps if I'm going to buy any. Also, Legendary Expedition. If you need a random Legendary piece, go for it. I... I tend not to buy these anymore now that the store resets at the beginning of the season. These used to be able to be purchased when the new seasons began, and you could get the brand new featured units from these expedition maps. They don't do that anymore, so I don't buy them, but that shouldn't stop you. And if you want your G-Stones, it's 200 a pop, and you can get it four times. So for, what, 800 stones, you can get uh, 200 gems, or 800 points, you can get... 200 gems if that's worth it to you and that's worth it to you and then i tend to not buy the gold or the tickets but if you want to buy the gold you can i know a lot of people do i tend not to because if you just play the game you can earn gold for free but people who are looking to advance their roster quickly and don't have the gold to do it this this is a good way to get free gold next we'll look at these two new offers so the Gamma Collab number two pack. Oh my god, no, computer, I don't want to play Starfield. Game Game Pass is telling me to play Starfield. I don't know if you heard that that Windows noise. So here's two new deals. This Gamma deal, it says you get one guaranteed and pickup unit. And you get a G material. So let's just click on this. It says limited time offer limited to three purchases total. First rate pack to celebrate Gamma Rebirth collab. Get your claws on one four star upgrade G material. Plus, this pack guarantees Gamma, Gauss, or Earth. You'll also get a mysterious expedition map, a poster, and 50,000 tokens. Here's the contents listed out for you. These maps tend to be decent. This is, um, this is like a better version of, uh, 
of this this of this deluxe it's like a more reliable one uh, and you get the g material which is good i generally always pick up one of these during a season i don't i don't have the gems to pick up three of them uh that is a lot of gems i normally tend to pick up one just so that i could get the poster so i can get an extra boost of coins and the g material I don't really see a reason myself to buy all three, but if you do, that's three G materials, three four stars, and 150 gems. You do not get three of these posters. That is what it is. So now you get this 10 per day. This, I think, is newer because we have had one, the ones that are a once a day, 25,000 uh, tokens, and you get a guaranteed four star. Now this, I think, is new. Discover with G tokens Elite Monster Pack get a 3% battle piece get three battle pieces 10 percent chance of a four star maybe this isn't new but it says you can spend g tokens to get your claws on a one star unit a two star unit three star unit with this pack oh no 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 no, no. these are not new it gives you one of each with a 10 percent chance of the three star section to be a four so you can buy 10 of these a day so that's what a hundred thousand coins a day you can open these so let's just open one just to show you guys so i didn't get a four star but what did i get how many pieces do I actually even get from this? So here's Psychic Chorus. I got 52 pieces for the Psychic Chorus. And then I'm going to get... How many pieces for Silvers? I skipped it. Alright, so now this would have been the 4 star, but I guess this is the gold. Hetera. How many pieces do I get for Hetera? 7. I need gold. I need not gold pieces. I need bronze pieces. I'm really close to getting some of my units to uh, maxed, maxed uh, sh like token or like shard capacity. And it's my bronze units. Like this could help me. That like see giant octopus. Almost. I got to get him up to 42. So this could help me, but I don't know. It, it, it's a hundred thousand tokens every day. And I don't think general people are going to put in 100,000 every day for a chance at a four star. I mean, does it even have a list of what four stars are even obtainable? Three star expeditions. Oh, okay. So it looks like... It looks like the four stars that are obtainable are the same ones that are also available in the daily sale. If you want it, you can get it. I, I, I don't see the reason to spend a hundred thousand tokens on this every day unless you have an exorbitant amount. I have five hundred thousand. I'm not spending five hundred thousand tokens on this. Sorry for the yawn. But outside of the store and that free gamer piece, which is big. I want to take a look at the special missions because I didn't do it in the last one. So we'll do it this go around. Because uh, I just want to show you how many tokens you can get. Um, I don't know which ones, ones of these are new. But uh, 200 points is for getting 5 kills with a stealth bomber. You could just go to level 1 of All-Star Battle and just keep uh, re-rolling your hand until you get the stealth bomber. Let it kill the crystal and you'll get this one easy. Chibi Godzilla. 10 kills with him, that's 200 points. Fourth Angel, 10 kills with them is 150 points. Godzilla Terrestris, 10 kills with him is 150 points. The Kamakris, which Kamakris is this? Regular Kamakris, I guess, is 10 kills for 150 points. Destroy a Larva is 10 kills for 150 points. Kumo Augment, 10 kills for 150 points. That's just a kick in the dick, isn't it? Uh, GMK Godzilla, 15 enemies for 150 points. Mecha Godzilla, 74. 15 enemies, 200 points. Desgadora, 15 enemies, 100 points. I want to go find the level stuff. 3,000 enemies, no. 4,000, no. I've really been slacking on All-Star Battle this go-around. I've just been so busy. Uh, I, oh, I got to race his studio mode. I, I, I definitely could do that. Wait, where's the... Did I pass the beat the level ones? Defeat enemies, defeat enemies. Here it is. I passed it. I passed it way before. If you clear wave 90, you're going to get 1,000 event points. If you clear wave 85 is 250. Wave 81 is 900. 
Uh, clearing wave 69 nice is 600. Clearing wave 60 is 500. Clearing wave, uh, I don't know, what is this? Win 135 uh, battles is 350. So a large portion of the second half of the tokens are from beating the missions. You literally get for the final two checkpoints a combined total of 1,900, right? It would be 1,900 uh, tokens. That's big. That is big, especially if you want to get that Gamera and you don't have enough points to get them. So remember, Gamera is available for free right now in your shop. Go get Gamera. Don't run. I'm sorry, don't walk. You should run. Go get Gamera. If you don't have him, I know there's a lot of players that do not. Go pick him up right now. He's in your all-star battle shop. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.